In an extended celebration of Black History Month, one photographer is on a mission to inspire and motivate children of color through a new coffee table book. That's right, it's called Because of Them, We Can. And it features many me versions <laughs> of famous African Americans. Here with more is the author and photographer, Unique Jones Gibson. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I can't, little Janelle Monae. Right. I just, I cannot <laughs> get enough of her. These kids are so adorable. Yeah. How did you come up with the concept for a coffee table book? Yeah, about um, last year, January, I started thinking about Black History Month okay. and just the state of black America and a way to refresh black history and inspire mm -hmm. children, um, being inspired by my own sons. And so I wanted to put them in the shoes of history makers, past and present. And so because of them, we can came to me and ended up uh, launching it for Black History Month. People asked me to continue, and then they said, in addition to posters and other things, can we have a book? Wow. Really? And I see Yes We Can with Barack and Michelle on the background yes. here. Who are some of the other people you feature in the book? Uh, we have um, individuals such as Spike Lee, Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali. We have um, Kerry Washington, Malcolm X. Uh, we have individuals that you may not have heard of, like Nathaniel Alexander, the mm -hmm. person who uh, created the folding chair. So people who are currently living, as well as those who have gone on before us. Wow, and you have little quotes that you put with them also. Is that more of a, more to drive home your point you're trying to make? Absolutely. I want the kids um, and adults to know what these people have said, some of their encouraging mm. words, because you know what they've done, or you'll find out what their accomplishments were, but we also want you to know the context um, and, the, and the things that they said to help them uh, push their agenda forward. Now, why have you chosen to work with children, and how do you go about recruiting yeah. these mini models? Well, <laughs> kids are cute, right? Yes, yeah. like, they're adorable. They're adorable, they're relatable, it, it makes it consumable, and so children are so innocent, and I wanted to inspire young people and build their self-esteem, and so what better way than to put them in Look these- Look at mini Beyonce. In, the, <laughs> in their <laughs> shoes. So, uh, yeah, we did a casting calls online, parents submit photos, mm -hmm. and we basically paired the children up based on their looks and props to make the look um, perfect. Now, how did you go about selecting which icons you would actually include in the book? Yeah, so the first 28 days, I kind of just based it off of the individuals who submitted and people we wanted to highlight. But as we continued the campaign, we realized that it became more of a community and a collaborative effort. So people on Facebook would say, hey, you might want to consider doing this person, or do you know about um, uh, this individual? And so we did research, and it's basically just a compilation of as a result of people just suggesting people we should feature. Now, how have the celebrities responded yeah. to their, their little doppelgangers, <laughs> their little mini-me's? Well, Janelle Monae said her picture was adorability. Adorability. Oh, adorability. That's, that's uh, a good term. No, like they've that. been very receptive. Uh, a lot of them are taken aback by it, but honored at the same time. And so they've retweeted, they've shared, they've posted on Facebook. They've been huge champions of the campaign and just great supporters overall. And besides current people, why was it important for you to you know, pair that with the historical figures and the current? We have to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. I felt like there was such a disconnect and such a lack of responsibility or ownership. And so I wanted to create a campaign that would show young people the sacrifices that were made and the responsibility that they have to live up to greatness and to honor the legacy of their ancestors. So that's why we chose individuals of the past. But I also think it's important that you know that you don't have to be dead, deceased, or old to be relevant mm. and to do great things. And so that's why we have some of your ditties and your Kerry Washingtons in the campaign because they're currently living and can be looked to as an example. Wow. Well, I know that Trayvon Martin's death had a huge impact on you mm -hmm. and, and your decision to launch this initiative. Talk to us about that. Yes, yeah, so um, when Trayvon Martin was murdered uh, and I heard about it, like other individuals, I was looking for a way to express my anger. Mm -hmm. And I took to my camera. It was the first time I launched mm -hmm. a campaign um, that had a social justice cause behind it, and it was the I Am Trayvon Martin campaign. Mm -hmm. And encouraged other photographers to do the same thing, where they would host people in their studios, take pictures of individuals in hoodies, and drive home the point that it could have been anyone, and right? that mm -hmm. campaign went viral. It was featured everywhere from the Huffington Post to the Washington Post, right. Ebony Magazine. Mike, did you have any idea that it would become such a huge sensation? I didn't. Mm -hmm. I did I knew people would want to wait in to actually join in in the expression, mm -hmm. the expressing themselves, but I didn't know it would go viral. And um, actually, last year, I had the opportunity to meet Trayvon Martin's um, father, really? um, Tracy Martin, and I told him that if it wasn't for him being so adamant about getting the story out and being so adamant about repealing these stand-your-ground laws, I would 
would have never known about Trayvon Martin and I would have never created a Because of Them We Can campaign because I would have never saw the need for something like this to exist in such a way. Wow, and now your work has become so moving. It's received recognition from the White House and you were even invited there. Please tell us about that experience. Well, yes, yeah, so I was at the White House. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> what did they call you? How did it happen? And what happened well, when you went? It was you a, just hanging with just, Michelle. Just, just why not, Michelle right? Barack, Checked just, out. Just a weekend brunch. <laughs> why not? Right down the street at the White House. Okay. Uh, so I came via email at first. Um, I was notified that I was nominated to be a champion of change. And that went through a process of its own. And then I received a call saying that I had been selected along with a few other individuals. And with that selection came an invitation to the White House to talk about um, the, the project and STEAM using the arts, right, to actually um, inspire young people in this Okay, way. so rewind. Mm -hmm. You get this email. Yes. Do you believe it's real? Right. Do you think it's spam? <laughs> Do you think it's a hoax? No, I think it's real. I actually had some involvement with uh, the White House Initiative for Academic Excellence for African Americans. Okay. And so it came from the director saying, Unique, you've been nominated. So I knew wow. it was legit. I, didn't, I had pitched myself <laughs> still because nominated, White House, it's still a lot to uh, process. But so do you do the happy dance around your house? You do the happy dance. You do the Jerry Maguire. <laughs> you run around. You, do the, you spike the football. Yes. You do everything, even with the nomination. And then when you you find out you're selected, you just, it's just, you wow. gotta take a moment, yeah. right? So what did they say when you met them about your work? Uh, well, the uh, event was held at the White House. We didn't meet, um, the Obamas, but oh, we did get man. to meet, right, we did get to meet a Valerie Jarrett, oh, which okay. was just as special, yes. right? And got She's to, incredible. she is amazing, mm -hmm. got to share some of the project with her and also speak to other individuals about the importance of expressing yourself in such a way. Did you wow. take anything from the White House? Yeah. Uh, I, I have a ask. folder, <laughs> I have a, a napkin, <laughs> some <laughs> stickers, you know, they're in a safe place, so some cool things, that yes. That works. Maybe a pen. Maybe okay. a pen. Maybe a pen. Well, no talk. silverware, though. No silverware. No silverware. Okay, that's going too far. On this visit. So, not on this, <laughs> the next one, the next one. Right, right. the so, dinner. So talk to us about your photography work and your portfolio. How did you get into it and what else do you photograph besides kids? Yeah, so my dad was one who always had a camera and mm -hmm. so I was intrigued okay. by his camera. Uh, as I got older and I moved to New York, I became just interested in photography because New York is such a beautiful city. Mm -hmm. And so I purchased my first camera and started taking pictures, but it wasn't until I had my son that I really realized how special photography was and is and so I decided to start my own business mm -hmm. um, using him of course as my main model uh -huh. and who is Muhammad Ali in the yes, book right? Yes, who is Muhammad <laughs> Ali in the book and That's so awesome. he has served as a huge source of inspiration for me uh -huh. and uh, what ended up happening was I remember posting on Facebook something like, hey guys, I'm gonna get into the photography field. I'd be willing to take your pictures for free. I called them uh -huh. FFNs, free for now photos. Uh -oh, I like that. Okay. Um, I still have people reaching out asking if the offer's still valid, but it <laughs> and is. And your answer is no. No, no not, not at the anymore. moment. Uh -uh. But uh, I really just started practicing and then I, mm. I love love. Mm. I love love, I love love stories, families, children, babies, mm. newborns. And so a lot of my photography evolved, revolved around those types of stories and recently just see a, a bigger opportunity to be a voice um, and let my, micro, my, my camera speak as a microphone through these campaigns. And in, mm. in addition to coffee table books, you have calendars now, posters. Yeah, what so else we have, have calendars, mm -hmm. we have nice. uh, t-shirts, all sorts of of oh, great everything. stuff. Well, where I, can we get all these items and the book? You can get everything online at becauseofthemwecan.com. Okay. Becauseofthemwecan.com. Everything's available there. Oh, nice. this is exciting. Okay, well, I'm going to go get, get my book. But we get to keep all of this. Yes, this right, is right, all right, right. This is And all because of you, copies. Copies. we will. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so you much, need, and good luck on the project. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.